road. Follow the road. It will lead you somewhere. So don't give up. Who is laughing at you? Your waiting time is not your wasting time. Tell them. Don't ever forget this. If you are not born again, you will suffer again. But if you are born again, get ready to reign again. Matthew 14, are you there? And I take it from verse 15. When it was evening, his disciples came to him, saying, This is a desert or a desert place, and the time is now past. Send the multitude away, that they may go into the villages and buy themselves victuals. But Jesus said unto them, they need not to depart or they did not depart give ye them to eat and they say unto him we have here but five loaves and two fishes and he said bring them to me or tita to me are you still there bring them to me Alright, verse 19. Shall we read it together now? And he commanded the multitude to sit down on the grass and took five loaves and the two fishes and looked up to heaven. He blessed and break and gave the loaves to the disciples and the disciples to the multitude. I am looking at the message in the series of divine lifting. I'm looking at when it is evening. What did I say? The scripture we read said when it is evening when it is evening is what i'm exhorting you on i want you to know that evening connotes a lot of things evening here can mean old age when someone is old you can say the person is in his evening evening here can also be a time of rest because no matter how you walk, you want to rest in the evening. Evening here can also be a time of salary or a time of payments. Because laborers that work daily expect to be paid in the evening. So we realize that evening means a lot of things to a lot of people. And evening also can be time of reward. Evening can also be time of evaluation. Why to another person? Evening is old age. But from the scripture here, someone said to Jesus, send them away. May I let you know here, there are many that this world system or life has sent them away. Jesus said, don't send them away empty. Give them to eat. There are many in life today that walked and walked and walked but in the evening they have nothing to show they actually walked but right now they are in their evening time but they are wondering where is my labor of the day where is my labor of the morning where is my labor of the afternoon and with these people said send them away this is exactly what the world system does with people Jesus said the other day, he said, in the world you shall have tribulation. But in me there is peace. But what am I saying here? The world system have a way of sending people away empty. I realized one day I, I saw on television a group of old pensioners. They actually served. They served the nation. But what grieved my heart was when I saw one of them on the queue about to collect his gratuity collapsed on the queue and they said he died. So what has he got in now? Life has sent him away empty. He walks but there is nothing to show for it. I pray for every one of you. Before you get to your evening, you will have enough evidence. I don't know who I just prayed for. You will have enough evidence. Yet, there are many also who have invested into relationship. But in the evening time, the relationship sent them away empty. It started with, I love you, I love you, 
I love you. I can't do without you. You are the only sugar in my tea. You are the only crocodile in my cupboard. Without you, I am nothing. That is how it started. But after the investment into it, what happened now? The lady has been sent away empty. Am I preaching this morning? She's been sent away empty. All the man has been sent away empty. Have you not seen a situation where a man trained a lady in the school? The lady graduated only for the lady to tell the man and say, look at you. You are no longer my mates because you are an illiterate. What happened? That man has been sent away empty. The disciples of Jesus said, send them away. And Jesus said, don't send them away empty. Give them to eat. I pray for you. Life will not cast you out. I don't know who I pray for again. Life will not cast you out. I don't know who I just pray for again. Life will not cast you out. You sit down briefly. So many have invested into relationship. Many invested into money. I mean into job. And sometimes there are people also put money in the bank. And the bank send them away empty. The bank send them away empty. At the end of the day, in the evening, they cannot tell you, this is what I got out of it. Oh my God. This morning, I want to look at how not to be sent away empty. What is the thing that can help me? Because the disciples of Jesus here, in this place we read, we realize that they have been with Jesus. As a matter of fact, John the Baptist just died. The story of chapter 14 started with the death. How John the Baptist was arrested. John the Baptist also, I will say, was sent away empty. Because at this time around, why? Because something also made him to go empty. His own was anger. His own was unforgiveness. His own was bitterness. His own was talking against his spiritual master. Speaking against him. When Herod heard John, Herod did not intend killing John. Herod only said, I'm going to torment him a little bit so that his message can change to my favor. I don't know if someone is hearing me. But when he heard him in prison, a little idiotic guy began to dance. And when this guy danced, the Bible said it pleased Herod. But before the dance, something happened that made Herod to remove the head. One day when John was in prison, in the camp of frustration, John began to talk like a frustrated person. What did he say? I am not sure if Jesus is still the, the Messiah. Go and ask him, are you he that is to come? Or should we start another prayer point? Jesus sent them and said, go and tell John, the blind see, the lame walk. To the poor, the gospel is preached. And he said, go and show John these things. Oh, are you going? Please come, come, come. Also tell him, blessed is he that is not offended because of the son of man. In other words, since he got offended, that was it. The opposite of blessing became cause. Herod did not intend killing him. A little girl began to dance. And Herod said to the girl, what do you want me to do for you? And the girl said, went to the mother. The mother said, ask for the head of John. And he went to meet the king and said, I need the head of John. The Bible said the king was sorry. And yet he removed the head of John. So what happened? John was sent away empty. I pray for you. You will not leave this world empty. Before you leave this earth, every labor of your life, you will see the evidence. Who did I pray for? You will see the evidence. Oh my God. I say you will see the evidence. Please sit down. Thank you. Now, if you don't want to be sent away empty, number one, recognize that God is with you. Recognize the God that you have. Excuse me. These people that said, send them away empty, they forgot that Jesus was God in the midst of man, Emmanuel. If they had known that Jesus was God, they will not say, well, where will they see something to eat? They forgot that the bread of life is with them. Jesus said the other day, I am the bread of life. 
<laughs> I am the living water. So both water and bread was present. And you are saying there's nothing to eat. Praise God. Send them away empty. Jesus said no. Don't send them away. So the first step for life not to send you away. For job not to send you away empty. Is to recognize God. In the midst of your busy schedule. In the midst of your busy schedule. Have a room for God. Life will sorely reject you. But the room you make for God today is the room you will occupy in future. The psalmist said, I was young, now I am old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken. No, his children begging bread. Now, who is the righteous? Those standing with God. Who are those standing with God? Those that take their place in their fellowship. Church is not for joyless people. Church is not for job. What did I say? Church is not for what? Jobless people. In fact, church is meant for jobful people intellectuals, people who are going somewhere who made, they only made room for God so you must know that the room you make for God is the greatest room you will occupy in future shout hallelujah here they say send them away empty I did not see people, they get invest they get, they get into relationship at the end of the day no more, nothing no, 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 no commitment to God again they say send them away empty. I pray for you. I pray for you. Anywhere life intend to send you away empty. God will help you. Oh my God. I say God will help you. I say God will help you. Lift up your right hand and say Father help me. Say Lord help me. Please you may be seated. Divine Appointment Ministry International present Mega Grace International Convention 2014 Team Total Recovery Who says you can't recover all? Join Reverend Ben and Pastor Mrs. Ima Erakai You will surely recover all the enemies stole in your business, marriage, health, finance and your destiny Guest Minister Bishop Denny Daniel and Bishop John Osaoni Bishop Jide Ayang Benson Bishop Ima Omo Pastor Taribu West, Reverend Olumide Emmanuel. In Genesis 45 verse 25, they went up out of Egypt. In Genesis 42 verse 2, they went down to Egypt. In Genesis 39 verse 1, and Joseph was brought down to Egypt. In Genesis 42 verse 2, and they went down to Egypt. Why? Because of hunger. Hunger took them down. Good news brought them up. Unemployment may take you down. A better job will take you up. Wherever you are, you are coming up with good news. Venue 17, Uyewale Street, Off Shillon Street, Off Ikorodur, Pankru Buster, Ilupeju Lagos. Date, Monday 6th to Sunday 12th, October 2014. Morning section, Tuesday 7th to Friday 10th. Time, 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Evening section, Monday 6th to Friday 10th. Time, 5.30 p.m. And on Sunday, three services only. Join us. Join us. I say, join us. You will surely recover all this year. It is Mega Grace International Convention 2014 with the team Operation Total Recovery. What am I saying here? Join me because it's your time to recover. Is it your health? Is it your finance? Is it maritally? Whatsoever you're going through, it don't forget. If there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. Join me. I have so many men of God coming from all over the world to come and grace the occasion. They'll be preaching under high tension anointing. I tell you, join me because this time around, you will recover. Recognize the God you have. For life, not to send you away empty. I, 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 I can deal with this topic in a different dimension. How many of you remember the prodigal son? The prodigal son, when he was with the father, he did not experience emptiness. There was no record of hunger. There was no record of emptiness. But when he went into far country, far country emptied him. Took the one he had. And what did they do? They sent him away empty. In fact, with empty stomach. 
and they now even suggested to him that he should go and eat with swine until the bible says he came to himself it's a topic for some other time why not shout hallelujah life sent him away empty recognize the god you have in psalm 23 the psalm is start by saying in verse 1 the lord is my shepherd the lord he recognized the lord now for somebody to say the lord is my shepherd that means the person has said that he's a sheep The Lord is my shepherd here. Because he goes further. He said he make me to lie down. In other words, even when I don't want to lie down, I have to lie down. Am I communicating here? Because the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. Recognize the Lord in your life. Recognize the place of God in your life. The place of God and give him the due. Now, the, look, let me tell you one thing. Serving God, don't take it like fun. It's your number one work. The work you are doing is not work. Let me ask all of you now. God forbid, assuming Naira that you are holding becomes ordinary paper tomorrow, what happens to you? All the bri bri running here. I'm not doubting. We all do it. Assuming you pick Naira, you want to buy bread, and you carry 10,000 Naira, they say no, bread is now 35,000 Naira. And meanwhile, your salary is 20,000 naira. I, I, I don't know who I'm talking to now. Go to Zimbabwe. Has it not happened? Is it not Zimbabwe? Did it not happen in Zimbabwe? Zimbabwe is happening. The money in Zimbabwe is nothing. So all who bank their money, all who work, a salary of a man cannot buy a loaf of a bread. Just one loaf and get the bread. Someone's salary. Of two months cannot buy bread. Recognize the place of God. You that enter relationship, then you begin to shrink away from your commitment to God. I want you to know the room you make for God is the room you will occupy when life sent you away empty. Let me let you know future is like an account that you open with a bank. What you put in is what you get out. You cannot save one million in a bank and you go and write a check for seven million. The check will bounce. Say, I want an overdraft. Nigeria will not give a draft. No, Bank Nigeria will never give you over, over what to a draft. In fact, they even give you on that draft. I don't know if somebody's understanding what I'm saying here. The disciples of Jesus, these were Christians now. These people have been there. They said, it is evening. Master, send them away empty. Have you not seen those you have helped? What have they given you? Those you trusted, what did you get out of it? Those you even helped, what have they done? They send you away empty. Am I talking to someone here? Anytime you, you put God aside, you meet this man. You meet this man. But you used to be with God here. Then you now use, because of this man, you now deviate from what you used to do for God. Ladies and gentlemen, the day this man sent you away empty, I will know where you will go to. Send them away empty. So number one, you must recognize the God you what? The God you have. I didn't just say you serve. The God you have. The psalmist said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. So if you recognize, why? These people are which they recognize the God they have. Am I communicating here? They will not say send them away empty because the reason why they say send them away empty is that the people should go and look for food to eat in a nearby village. You forgot that the author of food, the one who created you and created food and created the sun and created vegetation, God can even make food to spring out of the soil. In the wilderness, the, the food not fall from heaven. The manna not rain down. Now, if the person who rain manna down is with you, you say now food you want. So send them away empty. Did Jesus in Godhead did God not rain down manna in the wilderness? Did God not bring a quail, fish and fishes from the sea? 
They ate up to the extent that fish was coming out of their nose. Now, look at the same Emmanuel standing with somebody. Somebody say, well, wait till I go shop today. I don't know how this week will be. That's exactly what some of us do. We all put on the face that we believe. But when we hear your talk, we realize that you don't believe. Recognize the God you have. You can't be broke. You can't be down. I'm not saying you will not be knocked down, but you can't be knocked out. I'm not saying, nobody ever told you that you won't be knocked down. You can be knocked down. He said the righteous fall seven times, and seven times he will bounce back. That's the only one who can bounce back seven times. Only the righteous. Every other one outside the righteous, if they fall two times, that's the end. Recognize the God you have. Serve him with your conscience. Serve him properly. Give your tithes. If your tithes is one tenth, as the Bible says, trust and do it. And forget about it. You are creating room for yourself. Number two. Recognize what you have. But one is recognize the God you have. Number two, recognize what you have. Recognize what you have. Everyone has something to offer. Everyone has something. Joseph have the ability to interpret dream. David have the ability to throw stones. Samson has a joy bow of an ass. Moses has a rod in his hand. Joshua has miracle leg. Am I communicating here today? Peter has his hook. His ability to catch fishes. And you must know. Recognize what you have. When they were saying we have nothing. There was a boy that has something. A boy has something. It's just to discover it. Discover what you have. Recognize what you have. I'm not saying what you have may be so big or so large but there is nothing God cannot use the only thing God cannot use is emptiness what did I say God does not need your emptiness don't present emptiness to God don't present emptiness I not get to God will ignore you he said what do you have in the house he said I have nothing he said well I can't help you check what do you have in the house i have nothing i can't help you i'm going no oh yes 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 no, sorry man of god don't go and yes i remember i have a little bottle of oil at home he said it's enough go and bring it am i communicating here recognize what you have and what you have is what makes you unique so it may not be so big don't complain that you don't have more than enough don't complain that you don't have like they have don't complain at all comply don't complain recognize what you have what did i say number three recognize his voice and obey him recognize and obey his voice recognize and obey his voice immediately they told him we have no supply he said yes that's good he said bring them to me bring them to me Bring those things there to me. And verse 19 says, He commanded them to sit down. He commanded them. Everything that they were doing now was working together for if they will eat. If their need will be met. He made they recognize they have five loaves. The first thing is bring it. That's the first thing. Bring it. Why did Jesus not supply? Why is it that Jesus did not say, Well, let what they ate who brought it watch they were hungry i thought jesus would say well peter peter that money i gave you yesterday that account please go and withdraw let's feed these people am i communicating here first they discover what they have the next thing is what bring it what did they say verse 17 go ahead and they say unto him we have here who get them who Jesus, we, we have here, uh -huh. but in other words, it's small loaf, but five loaves and two fishes. Then go ahead. And he said, what did he say? Bring them. So you must recognize his voice. Your miracle is hidden in your obedience. Bring it to me. He said, me, I know bring it. I cannot. Not only this I get. 
I will not. Don't you understand? This is all I have. This is all. I cannot release it. What would have happened? No miracle. Bring it to me. And they brought it. Verse 19. He commanded them to... Verse 19. Abi, He said they should all sit down. You see, you must recognize his voice. You must recognize his voice. And pastor, where is the voice? The voice is what you are hearing now. The voice is what you are hearing now. You must recognize it and you must obey it if your miracle will work out. I want to invite you to our services here in Graceland every Sunday. You know what? We have five services. We call it five services of grace. Starting from 6.30 in the morning to 1.30 in the afternoon. I tell you, all the services are power-packed, full of healing, full of inspiration. You can't be down. There's no dull moment. It's your season to rise again. Join me in Graceland this Sunday. Don't procrastinate. Join me in Graceland because you will rise again. Divine Appointment Ministry International present Mega Grace International Convention 2014 Team Total Recovery Who says you can't recover all? Join Reverend Ben and Pastor Mrs. Ima Erakai You will surely recover all the enemies stole in your business, marriage, health, finance and your destiny Guest Minister Bishop Denny Daniels Bishop John Osaoni, Bishop Jide Ayangbeson, Bishop Ima Omo, Pastor Taribu West, Reverend Olumide Emmanuel. In Genesis 45 verse 25, they went up out of Egypt. In Genesis 42 verse 2, they went down to Egypt. In Genesis 39 verse 1, and Joseph was brought down to Egypt. In Genesis 42 verse 2, and they went down to Egypt. Why? Because of hunger. Hunger took them down. Good news brought them up. Unemployment may take you down. A better job will take you up. Wherever you are, you are coming up with good news. Venue 17, Uyewole Street, Off Shilon Street, Off Ikoroduro, Pankru Buster, Ilupeju Lega. Date, Monday 6th to Sunday 12th, October 2014. Morning section, Tuesday 7th to Friday 10th. Time, 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Evening section, Monday 6th to Friday 10th. Time, 5.30 p.m. And on Sunday, three services only. Join us. Join us. I say, join us. You will surely recover all this year. It is Mega Grace International Convention 2014 with the team Operation Total Recovery. What am I saying here? Join me because it's your time to recover. Is it your health? Is it your finance? Is it maritally? Whatsoever you're going through, it don't forget. If there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. Join me. I have so many men of God coming from all over the world to come and grace the occasion. They'll be preaching on the high tension anointing i tell you join me because this time around you will recover